I am Filipino-American. But for a long time, those words were empty. They were a bubble to fill in on a standardized test, a fun fact to reveal in an icebreaker. I don't even take after my mother, meaning there was a further disconnect between what I said and what I saw every morning in the mirror. And things might have stayed that way if it hadn't been for food. My childhood was full of sit-down family dinners, all spearheaded by my mother. Between the grilled cheese and chicken strips, we ate egg rolls and adobo. Rice was a more common pairing than potatoes in our house, much to the despair of my picky eater brother, but not to me. My favorite among these dishes was torta, a sort of Filipino omelet with pork and vegetables. A simple dish with few ingredients, but a snapshot into some of my most joyous memories playing in the living room as the smell of fried pork wafted in from the kitchen, watching in awe as my mother perfectly flipped a torta in the pan, the egg sizzling and popping around the edges. The flavors and experiences were unique from any of my peers, and it was my first inkling that food was more than just a meal on a plate. Since leaving home, I've had a chance to reflect on those times and how they reflected a part of me I had never truly seen. Food and family are intertwined in Filipino culture, and everything from sharing meals to passing on the knowledge of cooking. It's both the visiting of a great ounce bakery on the other side of the world, and the patient hand of my mother correcting the rolling technique of my barquilios, a type of wafer cookie when they wouldn't stay together just right. Food gave me a means to put meaning behind the words, I am Filipino American. It was depth and culture, and a connection that has only strengthened with time. Food is the reason I'm going back home to cook with my mother today. As the familiar smells and sizzles begin to fill the kitchen once again, we will stand, years of tradition mixing between our spoons, and proudly say, we are Filipino-American. <laughs>